<laughs> Hello. Morning. How are you doing? We are set on one of Bickerstaff's brand new boats. It's not narrow boat Silver Fox. It is very nice though. But it's for sale. It's very similar and it is for sale. I think it's listed on, is it Apollo Duck? Apollo Duck, yeah. So get yourself over to Apollo Duck and have a look. Have a look on Apollo Duck. Yay! Yay. Power and you don't think you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've had some questions over the last few weeks about how vlogging the build of Narrowboat Silver Fox has kind of changed our perspective on vlogging and social media. Let's get cracking. So the first question is from Karen Wright and she messaged us on Twitter. She wants to know, have any of the other Narrowboat vloggers offered you advice on the build and design of Silver Fox? And if so, have you taken any of it? The advice. <laughs> <laughs> they've shown interest, but we've, they've not given advice as such, have they? No, most of the kind of YouTube vloggers, boater vloggers, we kind of talk and we discuss th things that are going on. Yeah. But I think most of the comments and advice and opinions has come from people who don't vlog. Do you find that? Yeah, yeah. I think most of it is, is people, people with boats that are offering advice is, is people with boats or people yeah. that have been in the trade for a long time. Yeah. People that have had boats for a long time. Yeah. Next right. question. Next question is from Beth Rigby. She messages on Facebook and she says, do you have any YouTube haters? And if so, how do you deal with them? I think all the YouTubers have got people that leave funny bad comments, comments or bad comments. And we don't get that many. No. We haven't got any haters. There's nobody specifically that kind of hates us or trolls us or sends bad offensive comments every week. I get, I think I've had two about my ASD calling me a freak and a spaz, just delete them. Uh, I am a freak, so there you are. It's, it's not exactly. <laughs> I live within. Yeah, it's not, nothing to do with the ASD. I am just a weird freak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of it. <laughs> uh, and then we had one. Can you remember the one who said. That asked us if we were a couple. Yeah, are you two a couple? And we replied, yes. It's and not obvious. And the reply was just like, oh! <laughs> Like, all right, here's some photos. <laughs> send us your email address, we'll send you a video. <laughs> <laughs> he did as well. No, he didn't. Uh, no, he didn't. I mean, the one or two really offensive ones we just take down, to be honest. Uh, Only if they're offensive. Yeah, they're just not worth uh, not worth replying to. But again, I can count on, on one hand the amount of times we've had that. And when you look at all the comments and all the vlogs, it's like nearly 38, 39, 40 vlogs. I mean, it's thousands of comments. Yeah. So to have like one or two out of thousands, I don't think we're doing that bad. No, I don't think we are, to be honest. I think the way to deal with trolls is just to completely ignore them. Ignore them. Where the comment is, if you go to the right hand side and click that, there's a... There's an ejector seat. <laughs> 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 that would be ace, wouldn't it? That would be absolutely brilliant. <laughs> can we have one fit into the stern of the boat? Yeah, we can, yeah. <laughs> Off you go. There's a, a function that says hide users' comments from channel. Yeah. So if you get anybody that is kind of just trolling and being and been, abusive yeah being abusive just for the sake of it just click that button the good thing is they don't know that their comments have been hidden <laughs> so they can still see the comments uh, but nobody else can I think we've been lucky yeah so far touch wood wood <laughs> right cheers Beth and I hope you're not getting trolled because you sound Beth's a nice name you sound like a really nice person yeah you do she's an axe murderer which might be <laughs> so we actually we've had a shower this morning yeah. and, and done his air especially for this next question because we've got a question from uh, YouTube royalty and we are very honoured yeah. and we feel privileged yeah. and special to have received yeah. it was a hand delivered letter it was yeah and there was horses and everything it, it had like a wax seal on it yeah and it said from the king of the YouTubers Journey with John O. Oh, John. <laughs> and uh, John's question was: Do you enjoy replying to people's questions after you release a new video? I feel kind of awkward because it's like, well, you should know. Yeah. What are you asking us for? Uh, but yes, absolutely. And you know that. You know that. I think replying to people's comments is is just 
the only thing. Yeah, you you've got do. to do it because if they've got time to engage with you, you've got to have time to engage with them. This is what YouTube is all about yeah. for us. We decided to do this because it's very it, it's it's the best way of documenting everything that's happened. Yeah, I mean, we look back at, at the earlier vlogs and it's like watching them for the first time. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. And so, if it's like that for her, for for us, for us, you see, I'm trying to be posh talking to this king <laughs> of social media. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, if it's if it's like that for for us, hopefully the viewers enjoy it as well. Yeah. And I really hope you enjoy it because we do put a lot of work into it. And to get comments from the video, it's just it's only right that we yeah. reply and, and and engage because without you. There's no point in doing it, is That's there? Right. Yeah, there isn't. No, the whole point of this was to share it, and I think as well as sharing the content and the production, it's just as important to share, the, like the conversation, yeah, the opinions and the thoughts and the good comments and the bad comments. I mean, we've learned things that we never even thought of, uh, but I think it's just good. I think it's good to engage, and yeah. so answering to every single person. And we do that now. We do it. We've done it on the last vlog. We'll do it on this vlog. We did it on the first vlog, and I think we'll still be doing it uh, when John O has taken over the world. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I hope that answers your question, John O. If it doesn't, uh, we do expect it to be taken away and punished. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Saya. Next question is from Andrew Riley of YouTube, and he asks, seeing as you seem to use set times to vlog, does this cause you any stress or anxiety as the deadline approaches? Quick answer's no, isn't it? Quick answer is no. We do leave, uh, usually leave quite a long time between this filming part yeah. and the time that it's published. Uh, for example, uh, I think this has been published when? February? Yeah, uh, and it's now June two thousand and seventeen. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's just a couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah, it usually varies. It's it's between. It, it depends on the content. Some of them, uh, some of the vlogs have been. There's been quite a gap, maybe a month, uh, and some of them are, are a little bit less. So some have been just a week, haven't they? Yeah, some have been. In fact, some of them have been less than that. Yeah. Some have, uh, have been just a few days. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's it. I wouldn't say it's stressful. Uh, because I have an idea usually how long a vlog's going to take to edit down. Some of them are more complicated than others. So if you look back to the electrics vlog mm. and the plumbing vlog... They took a while, didn't they? Yeah, they were quite intense in, re in relation to editing, uh, and the electrics one especially, Yeah, because we were out and about filming bits for that. Yeah, that took time, didn't it? That took time. And I think the thing is, as it goes on, as, as we've kind of gone on making these vlogs, we... we try to kind of just push it that little bit further each time and, and go for better production. Yeah, we do. And it is, I wouldn't say it's stressful and it doesn't cause any anxiety in relation to getting it finished and, and, and ready for publishing. It's, if I, if I get it right for you, that's, that's, that's what's in my head when I'm editing. I'm, I'm kind of editing and watching it thinking, would you like to sit and watch this program? Yeah, would I be interested if I was watching this? Would I find this funny or yeah. would this interest me or is this too much detail or is this a bit too silly? Uh, if it's not finished, it doesn't go out. That's it. <laughs> There's been a couple of vlogs that have gone out on a Saturday or we've even missed a week yeah. uh, because I want to get them right. So I hope that answers your question, Andrew. Cheers. Next question comes from 80s legends Pat, Pat and Mick. Mick. No, oh, no, wait, no, Pat and Eileen. Pat and Eileen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Awkward. Uh, Pat and Eileen are actually uh, good friends. Yep. And they also have a bigger staff boat. And they're also vloggers. And they're also vloggers. Go check out their channel. Uh, I think we've left a link down there. It's not up there. No, it's down there. All right, so you'll We'll put something across here somewhere. Yeah. Uh, so Pat and Eileen have asked, well they're actually vloggers, so I think it's a bit of a loaded question is this. <laughs> uh, they asked, have you found that social media, vlogging and YouTube has taken over your life? And do you recognise when enough is enough and you need to switch off? It's installed itself as part of our lives yeah. since we started this. Yeah. So has it taken over? No. I don't think it can take over if you enjoy it. 
Yeah. Is it a part of our lives? Yes. But I don't think it's taken over. No. Saying that, we... I think there's some YouTube vloggers who have let it take over the lives yeah. in the sense that they become so protective of their own brand of vlog that they kind of miss the more important things in life. Which is friendship. Which is things like friendship and community and love and just enjoying yeah. the experience. Which is what we're doing. We're, rather we're than loving being, it, aren't we? We're loving it. Rather than being so finely focused on yeah. that kind of protective business kind of thing. Yeah. Where they re- maybe I don't know whether they rely on it for income or, or whatever, but I think... There is a risk that you can do that, and you can. Let that's it when it takes. That's when it takes over your life. And I think that is, like Sean says, that is when it takes over your life. For us, it's part of our life, and I think moving forward, yeah. we want it to stay part of our life because we want to. We want you to be part of our lives because we enjoy it so much. Yeah, we do actually. Yeah, I find it really difficult, really difficult to make friends, and this whole experience over this last year, I've made so many new friends. Yeah. It's done me the world of good. And the whole point of doing this right at the beginning was to save my mental health. Yep. And it's helping. And all these these new friends and people we talk to, it's, it's just been brilliant. Yeah, it has. Uh, the social media side of things, I think that's different. It's That's just a laugh, isn't it? Yeah, I think we know when to switch off. Yeah. Uh, I think it's when Kev's gone to bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we do tend to take over some conversations, don't yeah. we? Every now and then somebody will tweet something and, and like the foxes and baker staff and we just kind of hijack this tweet and, and we do we know we go a bit far sometimes, so I'm sorry if we've ever hijacked your tweets. Or if we've offended you. Or if we offend you. We try not to. I know we can be a bit close to the mark. Yeah, but uh but I think yeah, it's important to switch off. Yeah. Uh there's times where it I might not understand quite the meaning the interpretation of what somebody's saying and I kind of back away yeah especially in the written word yeah sometimes it's just the ASD I just sometimes find it difficult to interpret yeah. the meaning behind something I'm sure you understand what I mean if you say something to somebody it kind of comes across with facial expressions and body language and tone and tone but it's, it's sometimes a bit more difficult to read that in the written word isn't it yeah uh, and sometimes I get a little bit sensitive to that uh, but yeah, you just step back. But I think keeping control of it is, is important, isn't it? I mean, we, we, we have days where we won't tweet at all. Yeah. Uh, and just taking that little break, one or two days. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I hope that answers your question, Pat and, and Eileen. <laughs> Pat and Eileen. Great people. If you're not already subscribed to their channel, Our Narrowboat Quest, it's on YouTube. Go and subscribe. Yeah. Great. Couple. Top people. Lovely. Next question came from Carly Heyer on Facebook she messaged us and she wants to know of all the vlogs we've made so far which one is our favourite to me it has to be the big reveal the big paint reveal it's just that scene for you though isn't it that first scene that that, that story so far yeah if you've not seen that it's uh, it's the big reveal vlog it's called the big reveal and there's uh, it's only about 20 or 30 seconds in It's there's a piece of music and it's kind of clips of Narrowboat Silver Fox from Kind of base being play. born, yeah, right up until the outside, the exterior had been completed, yeah. And I think the music makes it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And I've been it's saying quite emotional. That, yeah, I like that piece of music. Uh, so check that one out. Yeah, that's mine. For me, I don't, I don't have a favourite vlog. I think there's scenes in certain vlogs that mm-hmm. that I like and I'm proud of. The scenes I'm most proud of is the uh, the move, the boat move, where we put the, oh, the yeah. GoPro on the lorry. And then we time lapsed the journey from when we moved the boat from entry, from entry boats, boats to over here. here to bigger staff. And it was like a last minute thing, wasn't it? Yeah, it was just so shall we put a camera on? Shall we put a camera, a GoPro on the back of, of the narrowboat, which we did, and it was you should have seen how we did it. Because yeah. <laughs> the GoPro is like on a, a in fact let me show you, I'll show you how it is. <clears throat> here we are. So this is the GoPro, and we have it on this kind of uh, clamp. Clamp. You've got a clamp there, and then this kind of movable arm thing. There's the GoPro there. So we we kind of set the clamp up. We turned it round. So we clamped it to the the stern of the bow, the the lid on the stern, and you can see it's 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 kind of secure, 
but it's taking this lorry journey, this like half an hour, 40 minute lorry journey across Liverpool, and it's like, uh, is it going to stay? So we ended up with kind of pieces of wood and cable ties <laughs> and all sorts to try and keep it secure. And we switched it on at the last moment, just before they started moving it. And we were kind of just waiting and hoping when it, it didn't to fall start, off. That it didn't fall off, that it didn't rain, that it didn't get smacked by a tree or anything like that. And as you can see from the footage, a brilliant little piece of time lapse, uh, just taking it across yeah. Liverpool. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, I think I've got favorite. I've got scenes that I like in a lot of the vlogs, but I haven't actually got a favorite vlog. The two that I dislike the most are actually two of the most popular. Yeah. So it just goes to show that what we think is not necessarily how how it comes across. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, thank you, Carly. Next question comes from David Chamberlain, a very special Patreon friend of ours. Thank you, David. Uh, David says, some vloggers I follow burn out and stop vlogging as regularly. I, I think this is because they're over-trying and not being themselves. Do you think this might happen to you? I've already got so much content in my head. In there. <laughs> <laughs> waiting. We do YouTube because we enjoy it. Yeah. And the day that we stop enjoying it, I think the day we stop, is the day we'll stop. I think there'll be times where we take a break for a week or two weeks or three weeks yeah, and have some time to ourselves or do whatever we want to do. I don't think we will ever film content for the sake of it, do you? And as for being ourselves, I mean, come on. That's <laughs> never going to change. <laughs> That's not going to change. Final question comes from Frosty Vanden Bosch. What a name. Top name. Brilliant name. Uh, subscriber from YouTube cool name wants to know what will you do to keep your vlogs feeling fun and fresh and do you ever feel like you're just doing it for the views we do it mainly for us don't we we do it for us this is a record of 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 our adventure from the first thought through to us getting on the water and beyond yeah. and in the meantime we're just hoping it entertains as well yeah we just put a video yeah. camera in front of us while we do it and edit it together you know that's not true from what I've just said <laughs> we do care about the viewers yeah, yes we <clears throat> we're not doing it just for the viewers and in for keeping it fun and fresh this is just how we are mm -hmm. and we're like this every time crap crap things happen in life yeah. so you just gotta be You've got to enjoy everything. Yeah, you have. So we just try and put a, a funny spin on things, and we try to enjoy it. But we'll always try and keep it engaging, and we'll always try and keep the content interesting. And yeah. I think if people start to unsubscribe in droves, that's probably a sign that we that we're not keeping it fun and fresh anymore. Yeah, but we're hoping that you'll like it anyway. Cheers, Frosty. I think you bought that. I think so. <laughs> Cheers. Name of the year, Frosty. Vanden Bosch. Cool name. And that's it for this one. Thank you to everybody that sent questions in. Please subscribe to our channel if you're not already subscribed. We'd love to welcome you in. We've got a lovely little group going. Uh, hit like if you enjoyed the vlog. And if you tick the notifications icon, we'll let you know every time we release a new vlog. And it's free. And it is completely free. Narrowboat Silver Fox is almost finished. That far away. We can't wait that to show you. Away. We can't wait to show you. More details coming soon on that in the next vlogs. And we'll see you next time. See you later. Bye. <laughs>
is from Frosty Vanden Bosch. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? That's real. That's not real. <laughs> That's real. Bosch from Frosty Vanden Bosch. Tell you what, Jake Rimmer, you're out. <laughs> You've gone, mate. He's you're gone. gone. Jake Rimmer is out. Uh, who else has gone? Clint Michaels. He's gone. gone. Shandy Bates. Gone. No, it's Shandy Green. Shandy Bates is somebody else. We do know Shandy. <laughs> Sh oh, we've got to explain it now, haven't we? Shandy Bates is Sean's uh, pornographic name. No, not like literally, he doesn't do that. Uh, it's that thing where you take your first pet and your mother's, your mother's maiden, maiden, name. maiden name. So Sean's first pet was Shandy and his mother's maiden name was Bates. Shandy Bates. So, so, but they're all gone. You're Frosty Van Den Bosch, you are name of the year is from Frosty Van Den Bosch. Stop laughing. Oh my God. We're gonna get his channel shut down if you carry on. <laughs> it's what Heia. it says. Heia. Is it Heia? You say how you think it and then I'll try not to Heia. laugh. Can't. Right. So the next question, the next question, next question comes from Carly. One gone. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> Next question comes from Carly. I don't know how to pronounce this. It's H E Y R E. It's like hair, 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 hair. hair. If you say it, it's like it's like Carly hair, but if you say it, it's in a West Country accent. No, it sounds like if you say it in a really posh accent, it's like you're saying Carly hair. <laughs> <laughs> Let's <laughs> go kill you! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear me! I think a brother, brother's called Shorten. <laughs> Shorten Kelly. <laughs> Shorten. Question is from Curly Hair. <laughs> curly Hair. Straight face. Curly Hair. Car <laughs> I would say it's Carly Hair. Car no, it's H E Y. Hair. H E Y R E. That's Carly Hair. 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 Curly Hair. <laughs> 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 